ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a couple different ways to do a problem like this. One, you can just add the fractions if you like to. All right. The other way is you can get rid of all the fractions. I don't really care which way you want to go through it, but there's two different ways to do this that I'll go through. So I'll go through the confusing way that you might want to say first, um, because I know a lot of you, once you see fractions, you're like, ah, get me out of the way of fractions. However, ladies and gentlemen, when we're solving an equation with a variable on the left side and a variable on the right side, to solve the equation, we have to make sure we get the variables on the same side. So I right now have a variable on the left side and I have a variable on the right side. So I need to say, how am I going to get the variables on the same side? Well, what I need to do is I need to eliminate one of the variables. And I can eliminate by adding um, its inverse. So if I have ne what I'd like to do usually is eliminate the smaller of my coefficients with my variable. So I want to eliminate the negative 2 thirds, because negative 2 thirds is smaller than 2 thirds of e, right? So to eliminate negative 2 thirds, I can just add 2 thirds of e, right? Because what's negative 2 thirds of e plus 2 thirds of e? 0 of e. And 0 of e is 0, right? So if I add 2 thirds of e on both sides, now since these have the same denominator, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds of e. Minus 6 equals 6. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a two-step equation, right? What do we do with two-step equations? Undo addition and subtraction first, then undo multiplication and division. So to undo this, I add 6 on both sides. So I get 4 thirds v equals 12. Then I have my v being multiplied by a fraction. To undo multiplication by a fraction, I can divide, or we're going to say multiply by the reciprocal, which is 3 fourths. So I multiply now by 3 fourths on both sides, and I'm left with v equals 12 times 3 fourths. How do we do this? Change it to a fraction, multiply across. Or you could simplify this. The same equals 3 times 3, which is 9, so v equals 9. Does everybody see that? Not so bad. Well, let's go and take a look at another way. If you're like, eh, I still don't really like that. That kind of makes a little sense, but I'll never do that on my own. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have a problem with fractions, and you don't want to deal with fractions, get rid of the fractions. Right? Yes? Does that kind of make sense? If you don't like somebody, right, and you don't want to talk to them, then don't sit next to them at the lunchroom table. Does that make sense? Yes? So. If you want to get rid of the fractions, the denominator is what's giving you all the problem. So get rid of the denominator. How do you do that? You multiply every single term by your denominator. Therefore, if I have the number 2 and it's being multiplied and divided by 3, I'm just going to be left with a 2v. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. 3 times 6 equals positive 18 and minus 2v, as those are going to eliminate again. So now I just add the 18 to both sides. So I have 2v equals 36 minus 2v. Add the 2v. Add the 2v. 4v equals 36. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. v equals 9. Got that? Make sense? It's really hard for you guys to see that when you guys are looking that way. I'm surprised you guys keep on doing that. 